Last mission at Red Flag and our second night mission. I had expected that there would be more of them, but I digress. Russia are on their last legs, having taken massive casualties in first-rate equipment since the NATO intervention. If we keep the pressure up, they will have no choice but to return to the negotiating table in the coming days. The Eagles will try to take out one of their mainstays, while the Ground Pounders will keep degrading enemy ground forces. It'll be a night attack. We'll attack in the limited light of illumination bombs with attack rockets. It'll be stressful and challenging, especially with all the ground fire bound to come our way, and the limited time we will have to actually make our attack run. Despite the stressful environment and feeling of being on a war footing, I'm gonna miss this. And I'm most certainly gonna wanna go back. Engine is powering up, the systems are go, and the Brits and the Yanks are already on their way. I'm gonna miss this, you know. Last mission of all. I wish I had something more profound to say, but yeah, I'm just gonna miss it. Probably gonna spend my career wishing I was back here. Radio is preset, and we got the card loaded. All we have to do now is transfer the data. Assign the target point, and arrival on target 1825 at V5, and count on it progressing. Some illumination for later. Will probably be needed during the landing if nothing else. Well, it's tower. Dodge one requests permission to take off. Dodge one airborne. Dodge one, landing by for push. Oh, don't see it. Not in any great hurry. Uh, we are registered at about 100 seconds behind, so we are gonna try and keep it 
that up so that as much as possible in the target area is uh, taken care of when we arrive. Like I said, no rush. No rush whatsoever. Well, we're in the deep now. That is Red Air Airfield, and I don't see any activity, so hopefully they're not scrambling anything new. Well, if they were, I would kind of hope they would scramble it in our direction, but never mind that. We have a left-hand turn in about 25 kilometers. Once that is done, our objective is to find the target and engage. Ooh, nice! A B-1! Hopefully its radar cross-section will be a much more tempting target for enemy aircraft and them. I'm not really a fan of using the attack rocket in the close air support role. Uh, we will only be able to, at most, destroy one tank, maybe damage a couple of others, but other than that, it's not really a weapon suited for the task we are doing right now. Another bomb capsule Nikki or something like that would have been far superior for this task. Also, we are about 30 seconds ahead, but the turn will be in 10 kilometers regardless. Uh, our primary concern right now will be to try and uh, make sure we do not engage until we have a clear visual on the target or a clear shot. Unknown objective ahead. I wonder what that is. It looks big. Can't be the enemy main today, can it? That's the enemy mainstay, I'm going for it. Well, I suppose we're never gonna find out, are we? Uh, break and head for uh, waypoint 5. That one, fans in. We'll hold up here until we get the confirmation that the flares are away. I can see some kind of flares up ahead, but that looks like countermeasures, rather than anything else. Still not sure what the hell that is. We'll check it out later. Got much too below it, it seems. On the way, off to the east. Dodge tube, that's away. Off to the west. Alright, the illumination devices are away. We have the target below us. We're moving in for the attack now. Deploying countermeasures. Increase speed. We can't stay here forever, but we need to make sure that the attack is worthwhile. So we'll attack at the end of this uh, turn. I see the target. Stand by to break. Where's my side at? 
Lining it up. Rockets away, rockets away. Good hit on the target. I say again, good hit on the target. Two. Two, it's all yours. to waypoint 6 and head out. I got four unknown aircraft ahead, but most likely friendly. Let's hope for that at, at any rate. Fuel is looking good. Might actually make it back to Nellis. Let's check out those aircraft just real quick. Yeah, those are our Hornets. On a quick glance, the Hornet and the Fulcrum are pretty damn similar, so I wasn't really eager to take a chance on that one. Good luck, number two. Increasing speed and climbing. We're getting out of here. I did not see your impact, too. That sounds like bad news. We'll increase speed and head out as, as, as quickly as we can. Let's go. Coming out, runway 21, wind 193 at 5 meters per second. I am most definitely going to miss this.
On the first day of Red Flag, they told us that there are three ways you can make a name for yourself during this exercise. Well, the first one is obviously if you do something stupid. People who do something stupid, well, they won't be forgotten ever. The second is if you do something really skillful. Like shooting down a fulcrum while flying an F-86 Sabre from the Korean War. Not that that has ever happened in Red Flag, but there are other incidents that at least qualify to be that close. Or you can do like some people do and you can fly into the container and most people doesn't talk about them because that's the joke. You Once the men in black come and get you at the runway, then you are disappeared because you have peered into the container. Basically, that's the joke, alright? Then there's the third category, the unlucky ones. The truly unlucky ones. And in this case, I am just one part of the very unlucky story. You see, the F-16s out of Eglin Base in Florida, I think, uh, they had the assignment to engage the enemy AWACS. Upon record, upon seeing this, everyone laughs because the F-15s, they just continued their bar cap and that mainstay is a free kill. And then I piped up and said, I got a visual on that. I got a visual on one of the most important targets in the battle space. And I, rather than going for it, spent a couple of rockets trying to destroy a tank. And that is how the story will be told. My last mission at Red Flag, and that is how it's going to be told. Well, at least I had some luck. There were one SA-8 and one SA-13, but we had a really nice Wolfhog driver who happened to pass by and just lob a Maverick at it. But yeah, I decided it wasn't worth trying to do anything else with that mainstay. I did have the time because my wingman was going to do his rocket attack and Dodge was still dropping their illumination bombs on the target, but... Had I known the fucking mainstay was turning closer to us, I would have gotten up there and I would have taken the shot. But now, I follow the mission profile like a good little vegan driver. And at least that counts for something, right? We proved that the vegan can handle itself at Red Flag. We proved that the vegan may be old, but that doesn't make her useless in a modern bat battle space. We proved that we can do our part. We're gonna be good members of NATO someday.